Someone recently asked me about how to apply those experimental sounds, those primal sounds, and those sounds that stem from emotion to the songs that we're singing. How do we make this into a practical application? Well, today I'm really, really short on time, but I want to talk about cry and whimper because that's a sound that I really use a lot in my own singing. So it's that or that little bit of a cry, and I use that when I need to get a little bit of compression in my sound without really digging deep and getting too much vocal weight. So in a song that I'm working on now, right, I would use this, this hmm, how, this word is how, right? Hmm, how, hmm, how, how can he ignore my available condition? And then there's another hmm, why, why these Victorian views? You hear that cry in there, right? And that's what I do often as I go, how, how, I get a little bit of that whimper and that cry in there. And I start with the hum. The hum always seems to work really effectively for me. And I know I did an exercise some time back with that mezzo staccato major triad. where you're whimpering into the sound a little bit and you're kind of hmm, hmm, and it just gets the vocal folds together without adding a ton of vocal weight. I'm kind of exaggerating a little bit, but I would actually use it like this in order to get that coordination right. And then I can play around with the sort of degrees in terms of the how much whimpering, how much crying I actually do, how much can actually be heard in the sound. All right, I hope this video was really helpful. I've got to fly, I've got a lesson coming up right now, but let me know what you think of this video in the comment section. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll be more than happy to answer them. In the meantime, click the thumbs up button, please, to let me know that you appreciated this content and also consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you so much.